What's up you guys, Rex here. How much does medical school cost? Now, the answer to that question will obviously vary depending on if you're talking about a private school or a public school, if you get any financial aid, scholarships, whether you're taking out loans, paying cash for it, a lot of different variables go into actually answering the question, how much does medical school cost? So I am just going to give you an example of the medical school I attend, Duke University, where the financial aid office estimates exactly how much it costs for a student to go to private medical school for four years in the United States. And for the most part, all this information is publicly available on my medical school's financial aid website, which I'll link down below. So I'll be going through the cost breakdown for your first, second, third, and fourth year. And note that the actual length of a year in medical school at my university differs, where the first year is 12 months, the second year is 13 months, third year is 12 months, and then the fourth year is only eight months. So the living expenses vary depending on how many months they're saying a year is. But it doesn't matter what the year, tuition always costs the same, as of me recording this video in 2021, which is $63,310. Then we have a student health fee, which is about $1,000 and varies depending on the exact year in medical school. And then there's a whole bunch of other fees, which I've just lumped together from like student government fees to activity fees, which are slightly larger in your first year at my university to pay for like a drug test and stuff like that, but give or take $3,000 per year for that. And then they also budget for a parking permit, which costs $552 per year. And that is the subtotal of the direct expenses that one might pay directly to a medical school to attend it, and it's about $67,000 per year. But then you actually have to have living expenses to live and eat, and they budget about $1,172 a month for rent. And that number includes all of your utilities as well, including like Wi-Fi, which is essentially required in medical school. A typical budget might be $375 per month for food, and then another $406 for miscellaneous expenses from clothes and laundry and toothpaste to entertainment expenses. And then they budget only $187 for transportation, which is sort of assuming that you own a car and that sort of is just paying for gas and maintenance, which even gas and maintenance, I'm not sure if you can get away with only $187, depending on the car you have for maintenance and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's very realistic as far as most people are making a car payment at some point in their life. I think it's a great goal to not be making a car payment, but that might not be a reality for everyone. So they assume you sort of own a car or you can get away with just biking, which is actually pretty realistic at my medical school that you don't really need a car, but they're budgeting in a parking pass for $552. So that assumes you're having a car. And I guess they're assuming you just got this car for free at some point in your life, which is probably true for a lot of medical students that most medical students come from wealthier families, but that's another problem for another day. So the subtotal of living expenses varies depending on the year, but might be about $25,000 a year. And then you might have to factor in some various other expenses such as books and supplies, test fees for step one and step two, and then budgeting to actually be able to attend residency interviews. So now you should see the actual total expenses of what it costs per year to go to medical school, but that's assuming you are just paying cash for everything, which is not a reality for the majority of medical students. So if you're actually factoring in the fact that you are borrowing money, which not everyone borrows 100% of it, but I'll use that as an example, if you are borrowing 100% of it, you are going to have loan fees to start with, but where you really start adding up money per year is that interest is accruing while you're in medical school. So you'll have a significant amount of interest, which will increase depending on the year, which will look like a lot more money up to over $24,000 in interest you might be paying in your fourth year of medical school. So your average total cost per year might hover around $94,000 if you're paying cash or near $110,000 if you're actually having to factor in all the interest you're paying as well. In any case, we have a grand total of $371,073 if you're paying cash and $436,151 if you are including borrowing expenses. And if you really want to factor in interest and assume that you pay off all these student loans within 10 years, your actual like total cost to attend medical school turns out to be more like $580,000. And if you take a full 25 years to pay off that loan, then your total cost to attend medical school might be $843,000, give or take, depending on interest rates of when you are actually taking out these student loans. So that's how much it actually costs to attend medical school. Let me know down below if that is more or less than you thought. And that really begs the question, is medical school actually worth it? 
And that's a question I hope to answer in a future video coming up. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video. Until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great. Thank you.